Hey, what's up cruisers? Um, yeah, I'm at work today. Um, I wanted to talk to you about one of the islands that we went to. Um, just, this is a quick one. Um, we went to Ocho Rios last year. Now, Ocho Rios is not a tender port. You will dock right up against the pier. Once you get off the ship, uh, make sure you have your um, photo ID and your cruise card with you. Um, you will get off the ship, you'll walk down the pier, you're going to go through a little inspection station, that type of thing. And um, you are free to go then wherever you want to go. Um, be it you do shore excursions. Um, back in 2002, I did Duns River Falls, that's it. We climbed Duns River Falls. That seems to be the thing to do in, J in Jamaica. Um, it was a really nice excursion. Um, you, I, you need to be mobile. I'm not sure that it would accommodate a wheelchair or a scooter. Um, you do need to be mobile. You don't have to climb the falls. Um, we did because that's what we wanted to do. We did a catamaran tour over there. Um, I don't know that I would do a catamaran again. Uh, I get a little motion sickness on the small ships. The big ship I've never had issues with, but the small ships I do. So, um, and I think they kind of took their time and sort of made it more of a party cruise than anything else. And I, I, that's just not my style. But um, that being said, we did um, Ocho Rios and we did the falls. It was a wonderful experience. Um, we all held hands and climbed the falls together. There's a path that comes that back down around. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a really nice excursion. If you're looking for something like that, you will need water shoes, aqua shoes, whatever you want to call them. Um, you will need something on your feet. They will require it. They do have them available, I think, for rent, but I'm not absolutely sure on that. Last year when we went to Ocho Rios, um, my son and I did Blue Hole. It was a really cool thing. Um, historically, it is a swimming spot for locals, but they've recently started taking tourists there. And it's a really, really neat thing. You do need to be mobile. There's no possibility of a wheelchair or scooter on that excursion. You not only need to be mobile, but you should be a relatively strong swimmer. Um, there are cliffs to jump off of. There are uh, rope swings. Um, I, th I thought I had some upper body strength. Uh, clearly I was wrong because I got a hold of that rope swing and the first thing my shoulders did was went up and I drug my feet in the water the whole way. It, it wasn't a pretty picture. But um, the, the guy, when I finally did jump off the cliff, I had to talk myself into it because I'm afraid of heights. So when I did jump off the cliff, um, I had um, my phone in a waterproof pouch and it had an armband and I had it on my arm. He um, insisted I take my phone off. I was perfectly fine leaving it to where it was. I didn't want to take it off. I wasn't sure if I'd ever see my phone again. I was a little concerned, but I did. Not a big deal. Um, th there's a guide that takes you through the whole thing. He will help you as far as where to walk. There are some shallow spots that you can walk through, get from point A to point B, and then you'll go do another cliff jump where it's relatively deep and the, the current is really strong. So even for someone like me who's a strong swimmer, um, it, it was tough. I, there were a couple of times where it felt like it took my breath away and I was like, not quite to the panic point, but getting there. Um, but yeah, you do. You should be a strong swimmer. If you are not a strong swimmer, that's okay. You can still go. Um, I don't suggest you jump off the cliffs because like I said, the current is pretty strong um, and it's really deep. Uh, there's a couple little falls that you can climb up and then jump off of, which is really cool. Um, but it, it's a really nice, it's a nice, nice port to be in. Um, the stuff there, they've got a lot of the street vendors. Um, they've got a lot of um, the, the typical shops that you find at all the other ports, the Diamondique shops and things like that. There are, um, I think there's a Pandora shop. You can find all of those regular shops there. But anyway, um, Ocho Rios is one of the stops that we've got going next October, um, the 28th. So you can uh, go to mydreamboatvacation.com, click on Cruising with Handyman Dwight, and you can sign up to go on that cruise with us. It's going to be a fun time. It's a five-night cruise. We're going to go to Ocho Rios. We're going to go to Grand Cayman. I'll do the next video on Grand Cayman. So go to mydreamboatvacation.com and you can see what group cruises we have going on. We've got one going in November of this year. It's going to Key West and Cozumel, where um, there are four of us at least that are going to be doing a dive, dive trip, a two-tank dive trip. So um, go along with us. It's going to be a great time. Have a great day.